Wiz has just released an updated version of their popular smart plug, now with energy monitoring, Bluetooth, and should be compatible with the Matted standard via an update. Smart plugs are great for controlling your non-smart lighting, fans or other non-smart devices. This is the new 2022 version of the Wiz Smart Plug, now with energy monitoring and Bluetooth. Why Bluetooth? Bluetooth will be used to commission a device to matter, the new home standard coming later in 2022, although there is no QR code on this device. I'm not sure how you would commission a device to matter without a QR code. Leave a comment below if a QR code is necessary or not to be connected to Matter. In May 2021, Signify, the parent company of Wiz, announced that Wiz Matter upgradable new products will hit the shelves from September 2021 and all new Wiz product will be Matter upgradable. So this smart plug should be upgradable to Matter once the standard is released and future proofing the smart plug. Although, there are never any guarantees until an update is actually sent out. This is the new packaging for the 2022 version, showing energy monitoring, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's compatible with Hey Google, Amazon Alexa and Siri Shortcuts. It's also compatible with If This Then That and Samsung Smart Things. The power rating of this smart plug is 2.3 kilowatts, so don't use anything greater than that. In the box, there's a quick start guide and the smart plug. The plug is very compact. It is just 5.5 centimeters square. That's 2.17 inches square. On the top left, there is a blue indicator light that will show when the plug is switched on. The manual power button is on the left side, although it would be more useful if that was at the top. On the back, there's the standard UK 3-pin plug. To set up, download the Wiz app from the Play or App Store. Acknowledge all the terms and conditions. Create a home. Select a room. And I am renaming it to the front room. Then from the menu, click account, then link an account. And then to add the device from the main home screen, click Add a Device. Choose the category Smart Plug. Enter your Wi-Fi password. And then follow the on-screen instructions and click Start. Once found, click Finish on the top right. Choose an icon. And that's it, all set up. You can press the on and off switch to switch the plug on and off. With this plug having energy consumption, from the menu, you can click on energy consumption. You may see unavailable, but don't worry, this took a few hours to start to show up. Here's the energy monitor after a couple of days. It shows you the hourly, daily and weekly data. But unfortunately, only in watts and kilowatts. There is no currency information which is way more 
useful information, especially in this current energy crisis. It would be nice if WIS could add a currency option so whether we could see the usage in monetary value. You can scroll to the bottom and you can see the live energy data. To connect to your smart speakers under settings, you will see the option to preserve the device when turning back off on after a power outage. And also here is where you'll find the integration compatibility platforms. It's really simple to connect. Just enable your smart device that you want to connect to and then go in to Google Home. It's already got the Wiz app showing. And as you can see, it's now connected and showing the smart plug. Although currently, there seems to be a bug with Google Home. Even when the plug is off, when you go back into Google Home, it says the plug is switched on. Hopefully Wiz or Google can work on this issue and issue out an update soon. Once connected to the voice assistant speakers, you can use your voice to turn on or off the smart plug. Turn off smart plug. Google, turn on smart plug. Okay. Within the Wiz app, you can create schedules to switch the plug on and off. Or you can just use Google, Alexa or other platforms to set your schedules. Hey Google, turn on smart plug. Having the manual switch on the left hand side can make it awkward if the plug is in a tight position. Turn on smart plug. Okay, turning on smart plug. Turn off smart plug. What I have just noticed, when you open the app with app, It jumps to on and then goes back to off. But after a day or so of using the Wiz app, I've noticed a more annoying, frustrating and could be potentially dangerous for the user because it just jumps to on even though the plug is off. But this is completely random. So it's actually quite untrustworthy of what the app is actually saying. As you can see, it switches to on. So if you're away from home and you've got something plugged in, like a heater or some hair tongs or a hairdryer, you have no idea if the socket is actually on or off. The only way to identify is if you go to energy consumption and it is not drawing any power, then you can assume it's not switched on. But also here in Alexa, you switch it off you go back in and it automatically switches itself on. I presume that's because it's taken its information from the Wiz app. This needs to be fixed urgently by Wiz. And because of this issue, would I recommend this plug? Not yet, but hopefully Wiz will fix this issue. Read the description below and if Wiz does fix this issue, I will put it in the description. I'm not sure if it's just me who's having this problem or it's a problem with this plug or the app, but it's happening on my Pixel 5 and my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Let me know in the comments below if you are having this issue or not after a couple of days of using. And that was a look at the new 2022 version of the Wiz Smart Plug, which should be compatible with the new Matter protocol. Any comments or questions, leave them down below.